Hello and welcome to the best of CAC series by IMS. Let's look at the next question from arithmetic. Now, what I would suggest here is that you pause this video, attempt this question on your own, and then watch the solution. So we've got a question from averages here, and we will see two different methods of solving this question. First, let's do it by the formula. We know that average is given by total of n items. n items divided by n or the number of items. So from here, I can say that total of n items is nothing but n times the average. Total of n items is nothing but n times the average. Okay. So what will be the total runs scored by the batsman in n plus 2 innings? What is the total runs scored in n plus 2 innings? So, number of innings is n plus 2. Average is given as 29. So, it is 29 times of n plus 2, which is 29 n plus 58. Similarly, what is the total runs scored by the batsman? What is the total runs scored by the batsman in n innings? After n innings, his average was 30. So, it is nothing but 30 into n, that is 38. What is the difference between these two? So if I just subtract the second one from the first, I get 58 minus n. Now, logically, what is the difference in these two? Uh, I'm comparing the total after n innings with the total after n plus two innings difference is nothing but the runs scored in the last two innings. So I can say that this difference 58 minus n over here is nothing but the runs scored in the last two innings, 38 plus 15, which is 53 which means from here I can say 58 minus n is 53 or n is equal to 58 minus 53, which is 5. So we've got n is equal to 5. Okay, which means first he played 5 innings, the score runs at an average of 30, then he scored 38 and 15 in the next two innings and his average dropped to 29. Okay, we have to find his minimum possible score in one of the earlier 5 innings, given that he always scored less than 38 runs. Now, if I have to minimize his score in one innings, can I say that his score in all the other innings should be the maximum possible because the total is a constant? Okay, so what is the maximum he could have scored less than 38? Which means if I suppose that he scored 37 runs in each of the earlier four innings, other than the one where he got the lowest score, and he got X runs, which is the minimum possible in the fifth innings, then his total of first five innings is nothing but 38, which is 30 into 5 which is 150. Now, 37 into 4 is 148, and 150 minus 148 is nothing but 2, which means the lowest possible score in one of the five innings that he played earlier is 2 runs if he scores maximum possible in the remaining innings. So, 2 is my answer. My answer is 2. Now, this is one way of solving this question. Let us look at another way of solving the same question. If you notice, we know the average after n plus 2 innings. We know the average after n innings. And we can also find the average in the last two innings because the scores are known. Average after n plus 2 innings is given as 29. Average after n innings is given as 30. In the last two innings, the batsman is scored 38 and 15, 53 runs. So his average in the last two innings is 26.5 which means all the three averages are known and we could have also done this question on an allegation diagram. Okay, so if I draw the allegation diagram, the higher average value here is 30, which is for n innings. The lower value is 26.5, which is for the last two innings. And the average is 29, which is for all the n plus two innings. If we subtract now, 30 minus 29 is one, 29 minus 26.5 is 2.5, the simplest integral ratio of 2.5 is to 1 is uh, 5 is to 2. Now, what does this 5 and 2 represent? 5 represents n innings and 2 represents the last 2 innings. Because the last 2 innings are 2, that means 2 parts is equal to 2. So, 5 parts will be equal to 5. So, from here, I can say that n must be equal to 5. And from here on, the solution will be similar to what we did in the last, uh, last method. So, if I want to minimize the score, in one of the five innings, I will presume that he scored maximum possible, which is 37. 
in each of the remaining four innings and minimum possible x in the fifth innings and his total is nothing but at an average of 30 30 into 5 150 so from here i get x which is the minimum possible value is 150 minus 148 which is two runs which is my answer so this is the allegation method of solving the same question so had it struck you that this is an allegations question you could have got the same answer faster now if you've understood the question and the two different approaches for solving this question i've got a replica question for you please attempt the question and leave your answers in the comment section